Well, first of all, thank you very much for watching. Um, we have a ball shooting Chopped. My favorite part about being on Chopped is that I get to stand there all day long and talk about food with great chefs, some of the best chefs in the country, like Scott Conant and Alex Gornicelli and Chris Santos. And you know, if I, and here's the best fringe benefit of all, is that if I'm having a problem at home at cooking, if I'm having, if I have a question, I have about 12 master chefs that I can just text or call their cell phone and they'll help me. It's really, it's, it, it's, like, a, it's like a cooking school, but it's my life all the time. Um, and I love that about it. It's also exciting. And it's when we have a really good chef who wins, uh, we get to send them home with 10,000 bucks and that's pretty fun too. I don't like chopping people, I will say. I don't enjoy that. Unless they're a jerk, I do not enjoy chopping people. If they're a jerk, I like it. Well, I'm delighted to be brand ambassador for Nespresso in North America, and I guess there are two reasons why it feels like such a perfect fit for me. Uh, first and foremost, I'm, I really love coffee. I really love good coffee, and I demand a lot from the places I get coffee. So Nespresso had to prove to me that it was truly delicious, and, and, and it is. Uh, and the great thing is that I discovered that on my own before Nespresso ever approached me. I was on a vacation in France, and we rented a house in Provence, and there was an espresso machine in the kitchen. And it was perfect because we had a big group of friends, so nobody ever had to wait for a pot of coffee to get done. Uh, and also, everyone could choose whatever flavor they wanted, whether that's a dark roast, a light roast, East African, South American, all these different styles and varietals and Grand Cru's. Uh, and so it's not just regular or decaf. You can specifically choose the flavor that you want. The other thing that's great about Nespresso, uh, as evidenced by the, their newest machine, the Latissima Plus, which I'm demonstrating today, is that the design is beautiful. This is a company that places a, pre, a huge premium on design. It's almost like the way Apple Computer looks at their machines. Here you have machines that are elegant and beautiful and really high quality. The Latissima Plus makes a cappuccino at the touch of a single button, which I just think is remarkable. Um, and it's a delicious cappuccino. So they're lovely to work with, uh, and they make a great cup of coffee. And that's, that, to me, is, is a really good fit for me. My favorite Nespresso style is the Vivalto, which is a, a blend of Arabica beans from East Africa and South America. It's a full, robust, dark roast blend. It's got a little bit of a floral character and a little bit of kick. And uh, I like coffee that's, that announces itself with some Vivo. Um, I drink it as espresso. Uh, it's a Longo, so it's a fairly tall espresso with just a little bit of sugar and no milk. And that's how I roll, coffee-wise. Well, for the holidays, Nespresso has created a really wonderful drink that I think is, is just perfect, and it will fill your house with great aromas that really say, I think, holidays. It's also an original kind of a recipe. I've never had anything like this until now. So it's, it's an espresso that, in which you steep an apple ginger herb tea bag, apple and ginger, and add a little bit of maple syrup. So apple, ginger, maple syrup, and good coffee. What a wonderful combination. And you make that in, the, uh, in, in a cappuccino, uh, put a little bit of foam on the top for that touch of luxury and texture, and it's just a terrific drink for the holidays. If I had to chop something, you'll pardon the expression, uh, from the way most people entertain during the holidays, I guess I would chop the pretentiousness. Uh, I, would, I would chop the desire to do something fussy, or, the, or uh, let me rephrase that. If there's one thing I would suggest people not do in holiday entertaining, it's don't worry about being so formal and fancy and making people dress up and uh, trying to do a really elaborate food when what we all really want is delicious food. It doesn't have to be something expensive. It doesn't have to be foie gras and truffles and caviar and, you know, in times, you know, uh, I mean, I love our good roast chicken and potatoes. I mean, it, it doesn't have to be anything elaborate. For most Americans, the, the, the holiday roast is, of course, a turkey. 
Um, there are some parts of the country where you might get a ham, but for the most part, it's going to be a turkey. If you want to try something a little bit different, I'm not going to say this is non-traditional, but it's not American traditional, um, why not try roasting a duck? Um, you might need to roast more than one because they're not as big. Um, but I have a very easy technique for roasting a duck. It takes a long time because you have to render all the fat out of it, but it produces a fall off the bone, rich, delicious meat and a, and a great crispy skin. Um, roast a duck, that's a nice change. Well, Skimbako, I'm glad you asked me that question. How do I enjoy life the most? I guess what I love about being working in food is that the variety is absolutely limitless. Uh, you will never taste every cuisine. You will never taste every ingredient. You'll never taste every wine, every port, every ale. It's not possible, but you know what? You can try. And that's what makes life worth living for me.